St. Lucia, Wikipedia Audio Coordinates, 13 degrees 53 minutes north 60 degrees 58 minutes west Slash 13.883 degrees north 60.967 degrees west Slash 13.883 60.967 St. Lucia, French, St. Lucie is a sovereign island country in the Eastern Caribbean Sea on the boundary with the Atlantic Ocean. Part of the Lesser Antilles, it is located north-slash-northeast of the island of St. Vincent, northwest of Barbados and south of Martinique. It covers a land area of 617 km2 and reported a population of 165,595 in the 2010 census. Its capital is Castries. The French were the island's first European settlers. They signed a treaty with the native Carib Indians in 1660. England took control of the island from 1663 to 1667. In ensuing years, it was at war with France 14 times, and rule of the island changed frequently. In 1814, the British took definitive control of the island. Because it switched so often between British and French control, St. Lucia was also known as the Helen of the West Indies. Etymology Representative government came about in 1840. From 1958 to 1962, the island was a member of the Federation of the West Indies. On February 22, 1979, St. Lucia became an independent state and a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. St. Lucia is a mixed jurisdiction, meaning that it has a legal system based in part on both the civil law and English common law. The Civil Code of St. Lucia of 1867 was based on the Quebec Civil Code of 1866, as supplemented by English common law style legislation. It is also a member of La Francophonie. One of the Windward Islands, St. Lucia was named after St. Lucie of Syracuse by the French, who were the island's first European settlers. It is the only country in the world named after a woman. Legend states French sailors were shipwrecked here on December 13 thus naming the island in honor of St. Lucy. In the late 1550s, the French pirate François L. E. Clerc set up a camp on Pigeon Island, from where he attacked passing Spanish ships. In 1605, an English vessel called the Olafi Blossom was blown off course on its way to Guiana, and the 67 colonists started a settlement on St. Lucia after initially being welcomed by the Carib chief Anthony. By September 26, 1605, only 19 survived, after continued attack by the Carib chief Agramart, so they fled the island. In 1664, Thomas Warner claimed St. Lucia for England. He brought 1,000 men to defend it from the French, but after two years, only 89 survived with the rest dying mostly due to disease. In 1666, the French West India Company resumed control of the island, which in 1674 was made an official French crown colony as a dependency of Martinique. Both the British and the French found the island attractive after the sugar industry developed, and during the 18th century the island changed ownership or was declared neutral territory a dozen times, although the French settlements remained and the island was a de facto French colony well into the 18th century. In 1722, 
George I of Great Britain granted both St. Lucia and St. Vincent to the second Duke of Montague. He in turn appointed Nathaniel Euring, a merchant sea captain and adventurer, as deputy governor. Euring went to the islands with a group of seven ships, and established settlement at Petit Carinage. Unable to get enough support from British warships, he and the new colonists were quickly run off by the French. During the Seven Years' War, Britain occupied St. Lucia for a year. Britain handed the island back to the French at the Treaty of Paris in 1763. Like the English and Dutch on other islands, the French began to develop the land for the cultivation of sugarcane as a commodity crop on large plantations in 1765. In January 1791, during the French Revolution, the National Assembly sent four sea omissaries to St. Lucia to spread the revolution philosophy. By August 1791, slaves began to abandon their estates and Governor de Jamat fled. In December 1792, L.T. Jean-Baptiste Raymond de la Crosse arrived with revolutionary pamphlets, and the impoverished whites and free people of color began to arm themselves as patriots. On February 1, 1793, France declared war on England and Holland, and General Nicolas Xavier de Richard took over as governor. The National Convention abolished enslavement on February 4, 1794, but St. Lucia fell to a British invasion led by Vice Admiral John Jervis on April 1, 1794. Morn Fortune became Fort Charlotte. Soon, a Patriot Army of Resistance, l'Armée Française dans les Bois, began to fight back. Thus started the First Brigand War, 6065. A short time later the British invaded the island as a part of the recently broken out war with France. On February 21, 1795 and a group of locals under the nominal control of Victor Hughes defeated a battalion of British troops at View Fort and Rabot. In 1796, Castries was burned as part of the conflict. General John Moore retook Fort Charlotte in 1796 with the 27th Inniskilling Fusiliers after two days of bitter fighting. As an honor, the Fusiliers' regimental color was displayed on the flagstaff of the captured fortress at Morn Fortune for an hour before being replaced by the Union Jack. Moore would then participate in British efforts to repress the slave rebels until falling ill of yellow fever, upon which he returned to Britain before 1798. History In 1803, the British regained control of the island. Many of the rebels escaped into the thick rainforest where they evaded capture and established maroon communities. The slavery on the island was continued for a short time, but anti-slavery sentiment was rising in Britain. The British stopped the import of slaves by anyone, white or coloured, when they abolished the slave trade in 1807. France and Great Britain continued to contest St. Lucia until the British secured it in 1814 as part of the Treaty of Paris ending the Napoleonic Wars. Thereafter, St. Lucia was considered part of the British Windward Islands colony. In 1836, the institution of slavery was abolished on the island and throughout the British Empire. After abolition, all former slaves had to serve a four-year apprenticeship, to accustom them to the idea of freedom. During this period, they worked for their former masters for at least three quarters of the work week. Full freedom was duly granted by the British in 1838. 
By that time, people of African ethnicity greatly outnumbered those of ethnic European background. Some people of Carib descent also comprised a minority on the island. Castries Harbour was protected by a system of 60 surrounding forts. Along the top of Morn Fortune there are six military sites, building work by the French started in 1768, and the British completed the work by 1890. They include Fort Charlotte, the Apostles Battery, the powder magazine built by the French in the 1750s, Provost's Redoubt built as a lookout point, and the Comer Mir Barracks. The best preserved installation is a battery at La Toc Point, completed in 1888 it was not abandoned till 1905. This fort in particular was built by the British to repel any attack from the United States on the then valuable coaling harbour of Castries. In the mid-20th century, St. Lucia joined the West Indies Federation when the colony was dissolved. In 1967, St. Lucia became one of the six members of the West Indies Associated States, with internal self-government. In 1979, it gained full independence under Sir John Compton of the Conservative United Workers' Party, who served as Prime Minister from 1982 to 1996, after which he was succeeded by Von Lewis. French Colony 18th and 19th Century Much of the scenery for the film Dr. Doolittle was shot here in 1967. Water was shot here, as were parts of firepower. 20th Century Geography Climate Geology Government Dr. Kenny Davis Anthony of the Labour Party was Prime Minister from 1997 to 2006. In 2006, the UWP, again led by Compton, won control of Parliament. In May 2007, after Compton suffered a series of small strokes, finance and external affairs Minister Stevenson King became acting Prime Minister and succeeded Compton as Prime Minister when the latter died in September 2007. In November 2011, Anthony was re-elected as Prime Minister for a third time. In the June 2016 elections the UWP assumed power again under Prime Minister Alan Chastanet. The volcanic island of St. Lucia is more mountainous than most Caribbean islands, with the highest point being Mount Gimme, at 950 metres above sea level. Two other mountains, the Pitons, form the island's most famous landmark. They are located between Soufriere and Choiseul on the western side of the island. St. Lucia is also one of the few islands in the world that contains a in volcano. The capital city of St. Lucia is Castries where 32.4% of the population lives. Major towns include Gros Islet, Soufriere, and Viewfort. Foreign Relations The local climate is tropical, moderated by northeast trade winds with a dry season from December 1 to May 31, and a wet season from June 1 to November 30. Average daytime temperatures are around 29 degrees Celsius, and average nighttime temperatures are around 24 degrees Celsius. Since it is fairly close to the equator, the temperature does not fluctuate much between winter and summer. Average annual rainfall ranges from 1,300 mm on the coast to 3,810 mm in the mountain rhine forests. The geology of St. Lucia can be described as composing three main areas. The oldest, 1618 Ma, 
volcanic rocks are exposed from castries northward and consist of eroded basalt and andesite centers. The middle, central highlands, portion of the island consists of dissected andesite centers, 10.4 to 1 Maya, while the lower southwest portion of the island contains recent activity from the Soufriere Volcanic Center. This SVC, centered about the Qualibu Depression, contains pyroclastic flow deposits, lava flows, domes, block and ash flow deposits, and explosion craters. This depression's perimeter includes the town of Soufriere, Mount Tabac, M.T. Gimme, Mornbonin, and Gros Piton. At 10 km in diameter, though the western portion is open towards the Granada Basin, the depression formed as recently as 100 Kia. The depression is noted for its geothermal activity, especially at Sulphur Springs and Soufriere Estates, a phreatic eruption in 1776, and recent seismic activity. Eroded andesitic stratovolcanoes to the northeast of the depression include M.T. Gimme, Piton Saint Esprit, and M.T. Grand Magazin, all greater than one ma in age. Andesitic and andesite pyroclastic flows from these volcanoes are found at Morn Tabac Dome, Morn Bonin Dome, and Bellevue. Avalanche deposits from the formation of the Qualibu Depression are found offshore, and in the massive blocks of Rabo, Plaisance, and Kuberal. The Dacitic domes of Petit Piton and Gros Piton were then extruded onto the depression floor accompanied by the Ons John and La Point pyroclastic flows. Later, pyroclastic flows include Pumice Rich Belfond and Ons Noir. Finally, the Dacitic domes of Terre Blanche and Belfond formed within the depression. Saint Lucia is a Commonwealth realm. Queen Elizabeth II is the head of state, represented on the island by a governor general. The prime minister is normally the head of the party commanding the support of the majority of the members of the House of Assembly, which has 17 seats. The other chamber of parliament, the Senate, has 11 appointed members. Saint Lucia is a two-party parliamentary democracy. Three political parties participated in the June 6, 2016 general election. Alan Chastanet of the United Workers' Party won 11 of the 17 seats. Saint Lucia maintains friendly relations with the major powers active in the Caribbean including the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, and France. St. Lucia has no extant international disputes. Organization of American States St. Lucia is a full and participating member of the Caribbean Community, Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, and La Francophonie. St. Lucia is a Commonwealth realm. St. Lucia became the 152nd member of the United Nations on December 9, 1979. As of January 2018, Cosmos Richardson, who presented his credentials on February 22, 2017, was St. Lucia's representative to the United Nations. Agreements which impact on financial relationships The Charter of the OAS was signed in Bogota in 1948 and was amended by several protocols which were named after the city and the year in which the protocol was signed, such as Managua in 1993 forming part of the name of the protocol. St. Lucia entered the OAS system on February 22. 1979. The Double Taxation Relief Treaty 1994. FATCA. Military. At a CARICOM meeting, representative of St. Lucia, 
Mr. John Compton signed the Double Taxation Relief Treaty 1994 on the July 6, 1994. The representatives of seven CARICOM countries signed similar agreements at Sherborne Conference Center, St. Michael, Barbados. The countries whose representatives signed the treaties in Barbados were, Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, Grenada, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Trinidad and Tobago. This treaty covered taxes, residence, tax jurisdictions, capital gains, business profits, interest, dividends, royalties, and other areas. On June 30, 2014, St. Lucia signed a Model 1 agreement with the United States of America in relation to Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. As of September 1, 2016, the status of the agreement is listed as in force. Preceding the 2014 FATCA agreement is one which was entered into on January 30, 1987 between the United States of America and St. Lucia according to paragraph 2 of the Model 1 agreement, the purpose of which was to exchange tax information. St. Lucia has no regular military force. A special service unit and the Coast Guard are both under the command of the Royal St. Lucia Police. The districts of the island, established by the French colonial government and continued by the British, are An additional area is the Forest Reserve Area Quarter. The United Nations categorizes St. Lucia as a small island developing state, a designation similar to a developing country with a few substantial differences due to St. Lucia's island nature. The country's gross domestic product in purchasing power parity was estimated at $2.384 US dollars in 2017, ranking 194th among all countries. The services sector accounted for 82.8% of GDP, followed by industry and agriculture at 14.2% and 2.9%, respectively. An educated workforce and improvements in roads, communications, water supply, sewerage, and port facilities have attracted foreign investment in tourism and in petroleum storage and transshipment. However, with the US, Canada, and Europe in recession, tourism declined by double digits in early 2009. The recent change in the European Union import preference regime and the increased competition from Latin American bananas have made economic diversification increasingly important in St. Lucia. St. Lucia has been able to attract foreign business and investment, especially in its offshore banking and tourism industries, which is St. Lucia's main source of revenue. The manufacturing sector is the most diverse in the Eastern Caribbean area, and the government is trying to revitalize the banana industry. Despite negative growth in 2011, economic fundamentals remain solid, and GDP growth should recover in the future. Inflation has been relatively low, averaging 5.5% between 2006 and 2008. St. Lucia's currency is the East Caribbean dollar, a regional currency shared among members of the Eastern Caribbean Currency Union. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank issues the EC dollar, manages monetary policy, and regulates and supervises commercial banking activities in member countries. In 2003, the government began a comprehensive restructuring of the economy, including elimination of price controls and privatization of the state banana company. Tourism is vital to St. Lucia's economy. Its economic importance is expected to continue to increase as the market for bananas becomes more competitive.
tourism tends to be more substantial during the dry season. St. Lucia tends to be popular due to its tropical weather and scenery and its numerous beaches and resorts. Other tourist attractions include a in volcano, sulfur springs, the botanical gardens, the majestic twin peaks the pitons, a world heritage site, the rain forests, several options of boat trips, zip lining and Pigeon Island National Park, which is home to Fort Rodney, an old British military base. The majority of tourists visit St. Lucia as part of a cruise. Most of their time tends to be spent in Castries, although Soufriere, Marigot Bay, Rodney Bay and Gros Islet are popular locations to visit. The current Minister of Tourism is Dominic Fidi, he has been in his role since 2016. St. Lucia reported a population of 165,595 in the 2010 National Census. In 2016, the United Nations Population Division estimated St. Lucia's population at 178,015. The country's population is evenly divided between urban and rural areas with more than a third living in the capital, Castries. Despite a high emigration rate the population is growing rapidly at about 1.2% per year. Migration from St. Lucia is primarily to Anglophone countries, with the United Kingdom having almost 10,000 St. Lucian-born citizens, and over 30,000 of St. Lucian heritage. The second most popular destination for St. Lucian émigrés is the United States, where a combined almost 14,000 reside. Canada is home to a few thousand St. Lucians. St. Lucia's population is predominantly of African and mixed African-European descent, with a small Indo-Caribbean minority. Members of other or unspecified ethnic groups account for about 2% of the population. The official language is English. St. Lucian Creole French, which is colloquially referred to as Patois, is spoken by 95% of the population. This Antillean Creole is used in literature and music, and is gaining official acknowledgement. As it developed during the early period of French colonization, the Creole is derived chiefly from French and West African languages, with some vocabulary from the island Carib language and other sources. Saint Lucia is a member of La Francophonie. Religion in Saint Lucia About 61.5% of the population is Roman Catholic, a legacy of French colonization of the island. Another 25.5% belong to Protestant denominations. Evangelicals comprise 2.3% of the population and 1.1% are Jehovah's Witnesses. In addition, about 1.9% of the population adheres to the Rastafari movement. Other religions include Islam, Baha'i Faith, Judaism, and Buddhism. Public expenditure on health was at 3.3% of the GDP in 2004, whereas private expenditure was at 1.8%. Health expenditure was at 302 US dollars per capita in 2004. Infant mortality was at 12 per 100,000 births in 2005. In 2017, St. Lucia recorded 60 homicides, the highest in the country's history. The culture of St. Lucia has been influenced by African, East Indian, French, and English heritage. One of the secondary languages is St. Lucian French Creole or Quail, spoken by almost all of the population. St. Lucia boasts the second-highest ratio of Nobel laureates produced with respect to the total population of any sovereign country in the world. 
Two winners have come from St. Lucia. Sir Arthur Lewis won the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1979, and the poet Derek Walcott received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1992. St. Lucian cultural festivals include La Rose and La Marguerite, the first representing a native St. Lucian fraternal society known as the Order of the Rose that is fashioned in the mold of Rosicrucianism, and the second representing its traditional rival, the native St. Lucian equivalent of Freemasonry known as the Order of the Marguerite. To their origins as versions of pre-existing external secret societies can be seen in a mural painted by Dunstan St. Omer, depicting the Holy Trinity of Osiris, Horus, and Isis. The biggest festival of the year is the St. Lucia Jazz Festival. Held in early May at multiple venues throughout the island, it draws visitors and musicians from around the world. The grand finale or main stage is held at the Pigeon Island which is located to the north of the island. Traditionally in common with other Caribbean countries, St. Lucia held a carnival before Lent. In 1999, the government moved Carnival to mid-July to avoid competing with the much larger Trinidad and Tobago Carnival and so as to attract more overseas visitors. In May 2009, St. Lucians commemorated the 150th anniversary of West Indian heritage on the island. The Windward Islands cricket team includes players from St. Lucia and plays in the West Indies Regional Tournament. Darren Sammy became the first St. Lucian to represent the West Indies on his debut in 2007, and since 2010 has captained the side. In an international career spanning 2003 to 2008, and including 41 Otis and one Test, Nadine George MBE became the first woman to score a Test century for the team. Sammy and George were recognized by the St. Lucian government as Sportsman of the Year and Sportswoman of the Year respectively for 2004. For sailing enthusiasts, the annual Atlantic Rally for Cruisers race begins in the Canary Islands and ends in St. Lucia. The year 2015 marked the ARC's 30th year of existence. Every November, the race attracts over 200 boats and 1,200 people to sail across the Atlantic to the Caribbean. Together with Caribbean music genres such as calypso, soca, dance hall, reggae, compass, zouk, and salsa, St. Lucia has a strong indigenous folk music tradition. Each May since 1991, St. Lucia has hosted an internationally renowned jazz festival. In 2013, the festival was rebranded the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival which encompassed culture, visual art, alternative music, education, fashion, and food. Dancing in St. Lucia is inspired by Caribbean culture and enjoys an active following. A popular folk dance is the quadrille. The Education Act provides for free and compulsory education in St. Lucia from the ages of 5 to 15. Public spending on education was at 5.8% among the 2002-2005 GDP. St. Lucia has one university, the University of the West Indies Open Campus, and a few medical schools American International Medical University. International American University, College of Medicine, Destiny University School of Medicine and Health Sciences, and the oldest of which is Spartan Health Sciences University. St. Lucia's national dish is green figs and salt fish. The island's cuisine is a unique blend of West African, European, and East Indian cuisine. This creates dynamic meal dishes such as macaroni pie, stew chicken, rice, and peas, fish broth or fish water, and soups packed full with fresh locally produced vegetables.
Typical essential foodstuffs are potatoes, onions, celery, thyme, coconut milk, the very hot scotch bonnet peppers, flour, and cornmeal. All mainstream meat and poultry are eaten in St. Lucia, meat and seafood are normally stewed and browned to create a rich gravy sometimes served over ground provisions or rice. The island is also home to the famous fried dough, known by many as a bake or johnny cake. These bakes can be served with different sides, such as salt fish which is either sautéed or lightly fried along with red, green peppers, onions, and seasoned well. This is the most common way for bake to be prepared, though it can also be served with meats such as stewed chicken or beef. Administrative Divisions One popular St. Lucian dessert is the pastry called a turnover. The pastry is made with sweetened coconut that is boiled with spices, some sugar, and whatever is satisfying. It is boiled until cooked to a light or dark brown color, then the mixture is separated into various size portions placed on a rolled out piece of dough. The dough size may vary too depending on how much is desired, and lastly, it is baked in the oven until the color of the turnover is nicely browned. Due to St. Lucia's Indo-Caribbean population, curry is very popular, however due to the blend of cooking styles, curry dishes have a distinct Caribbean twist. Roti is typically served as a fast food meal. The bread itself is very flat and is wrapped around curried vegetables such as chickpeas and potato, seafood such as shrimp and conch, or meats such as chicken, beef, goat, and liver. Tora Isle Waterfall, July 2016 Grow Piton Scene from the Ladera Hotel Restaurant September 2007 Petit Piton seen from the Ladera Hotel Restaurant December 2004 Economy Soufriere Bay February 2006 Hilltop View of Resort June 2006 Tourism Typical site in Canaries, Houses on Hills, June 2006 St. Lucia Beach February 2006 Demographics Ethnic Groups View from the LE Sport, Resort March 2006 Click on a colored area to see an article about English in that country or region. Languages Religion Health Crime Culture Festivals Sport Music and Dance Education Cuisine Gallery Citations Sources